everyone. This is Michael from Swot Viewer. In this video, I'm going to talk about the folder structure of a Swot project and uh, how the Swot Viewer will use this uh, folder structure to run a model and show the model result on a map. Um, showing here is uh, uh, the folder structure from a uh, Swot project. If you are using a uh, QSWAT, you've got a similar folder structure as well. In, uh, in this product folder, you will have another three folders. The first one is the raster stock, second one is the scenarios, and, watch, and another, the last one is the watershed folder. Um, the raster stock folder is used to hold all the raster data. We are not going to use them in the viewer. And the scenario folders is very important. It will, it will have the model input files in the text in output folder. In the text in output, basically it will have all the model input files. You can see here there are some PND files, there are subbasin files, and groundwater files. Everything uh, to run the model is in this folder. So, the viewer will read all the input files in this folder to run the Zip model. Another important uh, uh, folder in this uh, uh, product is the Shapes folder in this watershed folder uh, here. The Shapes folder will hold all the shape files generated in the, uh, during the watershed delineation process. The SWOT viewer will use two of them to um, draw the results on the map. The one is the RIV1 shape file is for the reach. Uh, the second one is the SUBS1 shape file is for the sub, sub basin. So basically, the viewer will you load these two shape files and load dynamically load the result to show them on the map. So from here, we, what we can see here is, um, although there are a lot of files in this SWOT product folder, the viewer don't use them all. So the, the only two folders we use in the viewer is the text in out folder to run the model and the shapes uh, folder to show, to load the shape files and show the model results on the map. So in essence, um, we don't need to have all other files. The only thing we need to do is to have this text in, text in out folder and the shapes folder. So if you are not creating your product, your SWOT model using XSWOT or QSWOT, you still can uh, use the viewer to, uh, to, view, to run the model and uh, show them results on the map. So in next video, we are talk, we will going to talk about that, how you can do that. Um, I think this cover all the structure uh, of this um, uh, SWOT product. I hope this help you to understand more how the viewer works with the, together with the SWOT project. I uh, hope to see you next, in next video. Thank you.